I got a certain vibe from the picture, and I'm just like, that's the one. Like, that has to be the one. During times of sorrow. There was definitely some hurt in my heart. People cry and pray. Like, he's one of the greatest players of all time. Others leave flowers or light candles. I believe that he's in a better place. Trey Talaferro turns to his easel. The artist from Powhatan paints celebrities and singers. The 24-year-old never thought he would be working on this. It was an Instagram post about Kobe's helicopter crash. I couldn't believe it. Trey is pouring his heart and soul into his latest piece. I try to keep my energy up and that translates to the, to the canvas. A four foot by six foot canvas capturing Kobe Bryant's relationship with his daughter Gianna. We lost a good one, a really, like a really great guy. And he was a great father. And, you know, he, like I said, he meant a lot to the world. Trey thinks the bold colors of this painting helps temper the sadness. Is this in a way for you and maybe for others sort of healing to see them like this? Yeah, that's, and that's kind of how I'm painting it. Like, I, I, I want to, I'm hoping that the, the vibrant colors, you know, kind of tell everybody that it's all right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be all right. Like, like, I just want them to look at it and, and smile. Trey painted Kobe last year, always admiring the player's work ethic, both on and off the court. I really just wanted to make sure that I did it to the best of my ability because he never attempted anything less than that. If you're not going to try your hardest, then you might as well not even try at all. Talaferro's artwork sells for hundreds, even thousands of dollars. But he will profit in another way with this piece. The artist wants to donate the massive painting to Bryant's family or Kobe's Mamba Foundation. It's not necessarily for me, it's for everybody else. Trey Talaferro, an artist paying tribute to a father and daughter gone too soon. Me paying my respects back with sweat and actual effort, you know, because once I'm done with this, you know, I can finally take a breather and be like, I did something. For I Have a Story, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.